Hello amazing middle schoolers. I am finally getting to a video for you guys. Um, I wanted to help you out with the mosaic, the sunset over water. So each of you should have a gray piece of paper. Uh, it's got the uh, design for the sunset. And that's what we're gonna do. So I, I, as you can see, I've already started mine. I had sent you a picture on Yammer of how I decided to do mine. So I'm gonna continue with this kind of design on uh, the rest of the sun rays. Um, as you can see, I used smaller squares and rectangles inside this uh, little interior circle. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this exterior circle right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna give you uh, a few shots of how I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna show you, these are gonna be really small pieces. See that little piece right there? This is what we're gonna be putting inside of here, okay? And we may actually have to uh, cut some of these down because they might be a little too wide. So let's see if I've got any skinnier pieces here. This is a little skinnier. This is a little skinnier. We'll try this one first. So what we'll do, I'm gonna try to just cut these into small pieces. And what I'm gonna do is take my glue and I've I gave you each a paintbrush, I believe. I think I gave you each paintbrushes. If you don't have a paint, if you um, don't have a paintbrush at home, uh, you can use um, like a Q-tip or something like that. Okay. So what we're going to do? We're just going to take these and set those inside of there. I sometimes use the end of this, so you could use like the end of a pencil to get them in the right place. And just start off with a little bit of glue, okay? Because it'll dry pretty fast. And you might forget where you're working to. So just start with a little bit. And then go from there, okay? Now you want to uh, remember to wash out your brush. I evidently did not wash out my brush and my my paintbrush is very stiff and it's very hard to work with. So wash that brush. There we go. So as you can see I'm just gonna go around this circle with these individual ones. Okay. Now if you have um, cut your paper and discovered, well, it's going to be too too wide. What you can do is um, just try to hold it by your fingernails and just try to trim off a little bit off the side there carefully. Don't cut your fingers. And just try to judge whether it's going to be good enough or not. Okay? Now, I wanted to um, help you also with the waters, okay? With the waters, um, notice that they're they're all flowing, and they're all flowing in kind of different directions, and they've got different patterns, uh, different wave patterns. What I was thinking about last night um, was how I want to do this, and you see where they have these thick areas here. I'm thinking I'm going to want to put some of these here. Okay, so I'm going to have some areas here, and then I'm going to have um, a different color here. So let's let's look at this. So I'm going to put. <laughs> I actually might put this on first and then trim it. Let's try this. And this is all kind of, you know, you just kind of try and see what works the best for you. If you come up with a really great uh, technique of how to do this, 
post it on on uh, Yammer and let your fellow students know and teacher. So I'm just going to trim that off right there. And then I'm going to continue it with another one here. And I'm going to go a little further over. And I'm not going to have as much to trim off. Although I don't want it to hang over. There we go. That's better. this next little area here you see that and we may want to go back in with a smaller piece there but on this next area here let's these um, pieces of paper are gonna go kind of like flowing down this way so we're gonna take it and put it this way okay I'm gonna trim it off at the edge there, just like that, okay? Now, what we've got is this little section right there, and I've got, oh look at there, I've got this piece right there that I could put, look at that, that fits really nice. I need a little bit, of, a little bit more glue there though. Sometimes you'll have to um, trim down your um, pieces of paper so it looks almost like a really skinny triangle. And that's what this one looks like. It's a really skinny triangle. Okay. And I've got this one little area right there that I want to put something in. It's really small. Now, yes, this, I will let you know, this is going to be time consuming. It'll seem a little tedious, but this is just another one of those forms of art that I want you to be exposed to, okay? I just want you to try it out. You may decide that you hate it, but you've at least tried it. Kind of like food. But you may try it and decide, oh, I really like doing this. This was a lot of fun. And you may decide, oh, this is, this is something I'd like to do. Something design, you know? Okay, so then what we're going to do, we're going to go up this way. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to vary my colors. So I'm going to put a dark blue in there, okay? I'm going to just cut some of these real quick. Now, we're going to kind of going to flow along with how this is going, okay? I think that's going to have to go like that, and then we'll put another one like this, okay? Because that's a really wide area. So we'll have one going up and one going down. see how we can do this. Kind of like that. And see how I cut that at an angle there? Okay, I may I may have needed to cut these a little bit more of an angle. But that one 
see how that angle matches that a little bit better. So as you as you work, maybe work with some of those angles on those lines to make them look like they fit a little bit better. See like that? So, I hope this gives you an idea of how to do your uh, mosaic. If you would rather use smaller pieces, you can go ahead and do just a bunch of smaller pieces instead of the longer strips. I'm using the longer strips simply to make it a little easier. Okay, um, It is a little harder to use those really small um, squares and rectangles just because they're hard to, to hold. But if you don't mind, um, you can go ahead and use the longer, or use the shorter uh, squares in rectangles as well, okay? And don't forget, you're gonna have to um, cut some of them down into these different angles. You may have to cut some long, skinny triangles. Um, I did have to cut some long, skinny triangles for like the, um, the sun rays in a few different places because they are kind of triangular shaped in some of those. All right, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, holler up on Yammer and I will do my best to help you. I really look forward to seeing what you turn out for this and I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.